Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Surviving with Britannia here with me, Chillum. And today, well, check it out. Check it out. We have been gathering the mana. I tweaked our system a touch. I think it was that one, two, three, four, four, nearly five pools of mana. And now this thing is completely self sufficient and functional, so I'll do a quick overview of what's changed. Primarily, uh, the boxes up here have been slightly altered around. I've labelled a chicken feather one, particularly here. Uh, which is simply hooked up to this little arrangement which ultimately will drop feathers down into this pit of lava so we no longer have to worry about maintaining them we have a catch-all chest which i like for the chicken in fact we'll grab those nine and put them back into the system it's also good for just grabbing some food like i have 24 down here let's add another three why not keep 21 chicken to ourselves that's cool so this is all automated i added a feeder system up here with a comparator which is essentially saying, you know, a two strength signal, or is it even one strength? No, a two strength, one is there, two to here, will then activate our timing mechanism here, which is grand, because we can pick up multiple eggs at a time. This chest will always hold 30 for us. Uh, if we wanted to increase the amount, we could change that to an iron chest, I think, or possibly even move this over by one or two blocks, if we wanted to keep more eggs, but, you know, I think 30 is plenty for now. We don't use them for anything right now. Maybe making cakes later on, who knows? So that has automated the feed system, so no matter how many eggs it picks up in one go, it will still pump them into our network as we want, which is really, really cool. And then for the final touch, because I wasn't sure how fast this was going to generate mana when I went to sleep, I did this overflow switch, and thanks to everybody who helped me out with this little design. This will give us uh, information on how much mana is in this pool, i.e. if it reaches nearly full, this will pump out a strength 14 signal. Actually, I don't think that's necessary. I put it there for some reason. We could probably get rid of that um, repeater and just replace it with a bit of redstone. But that in turn feeds into a basic vanilla AND gate, which essentially says if both of these signals are on at the same time, or off as it were, we'll see it flick now, Bink. it will send the signal through and tell it to feed the food. So once this is activated, the signal will come through here and we'll turn this redstone, ah, dang it, well you can see the example there, we'll turn that redstone light off, so if there is no signal or if there is a signal coming from that to mana pool, then this will never trigger because this one torch here will stay remaining on, which means this one will never actually activate, which is really, really sweet. Much easier than trying to control this with a redstone pulse type mana spreader kind of thing. I figured this would be a simpler method. So the whole thing is now fully automated, which is fantastic and self-sufficient. I can just leave it running and never have to worry about it, which is awesome. Uh, on the off chance, the only fail state to this entire system is if um, all the mana pool gets filled up and it will then either... Now, let's see, there's two things. This box will get full of chicken, which is quite a lot of chicken, as could this. In that case, it will start leaving chicken carcasses around and won't pick them up, but the odds of that actually happening are so remote that uh, I can't imagine it ever, ever being an issue. So, with all of this mana, we are going to do some stuffs. I've been hunting, hunting endermen and ghasts like a bugger. And we have a collection of enderpearls. We need to do more of that to complete what I want to do today. But, for now, um, what I want to do is build an enchanting table. Because, although I died, <laughs> I've managed to go mining and get ourselves 31 level of experience. Yes, please don't hate me for dying. It was bound to happen. Uh, we're going to need two diamonds for this. Uh, four gold, I think, and four iron. We'll check this. We're going to need a book and two more diamonds, actually. Silly me. And a book. So there's our leather. That's good. One of the very awesome things about the alchemy table is that, uh, or the alchemy block, is that you can convert rotten flesh to leather, which is, in my humble opinion, one of the bestest things ever. I love that particular feature. And you can also do loads of other things. But did I leave that in there? You're going to be concentrating on what I'm doing. <laughs> you can also do loads of other things with various uh, versions of that table, such as convert redstone to glowstone, I think, or vice versa, I'm not entirely sure. But we won't bother about that for now. Let's get ourselves a basic enchantment table going. Oh yes, that's grand. And we're going to set that up with a couple of mana pylons, uh, as I was looking at here. So we need uh, two mana diamonds and four mana steel ingots. No problemo. If I actually take them from this pool here, then we should see the whole network kick off and try and fill that pool up. These things are lovely. I didn't realize that they would stop trying to put mana into a full pool um, and then just sequence from there. So this whole little chain is kind of like 
just a huge mana buffer really it's really quite useful so that's going to fill up slowly over time we could add lenses to these to make them transfer more power quicker but in all honesty this system just doesn't produce that much mana so it's not so much of a problem let's quickly knock together our mana pylons what was it this this some of that now two of these will power an enchantment table up to level 30 for us so we don't have to worry about freaking tons and tons of books uh, this place is starting to get a little bit cramped. I took down the structure here because I didn't like it really at the end of the day And we might do something else over there at some point soon-ish We shall see um, We tend to live down here, so I might as well put it somewhere nearby. I'm not entirely sure what the conflagration for this is um, So Is it something will this work? I believe if we put one two blocks away each does that allow us to chant up to level 30? Yes, it does. Look at that. That is phenomenal. Now, the question is, which tool do we use it on? And really, I'd like to dump a level 30 enchant onto a bow of some description. Now, there is in here uh, <laughs> somewhere some pretty cool bow. Uh, I wonder where it is. Is it a natural apparatus? No, that'd be silly. It's mystical items. Yes, living with bow. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Made of living wood and a mana infused string. It will last longer than a normal bow, and it will repair itself using the same system as before. Does it shoot aeroplanes? Now, I thought there was an upgrade to this, but really, what we want, what I really, really want to do is open up the Elfheim gate. And the question is, where do we put it? Because what I'm thinking, what I am thinking, I believe the setup is going to get even more cramped here. I thought we put it near this door, because it'd be kind of fun. Um, but I think... We're going to have to cut out a small amount of dirt here, like so. Is that going to... That looks like roughly it should be. The wonderful thing about this book, and thanks to this, it's a, an awesome, awesome addition, is if we go to the portal of the Elfheims, we need to get some Terra Steel going, which we shall eventually. We're going to need another two Mana Pylons. I think we're good for that. And a couple of Eyes of Ender. If you hit this Visualize button, it's fantastic. So what I'm hoping is that we can drop this down a level like so if we right click then everything oh everything nearly fits to where i thought it would what would we need to put that there and that there now the only reason i'm dropping these down a level is because it means that we could walk straight through our gates here and straight through the portal which doesn't do anything for humans or living creatures but uh would be quite a nice bit of decoration so something like a so would be where we'd want to put it and then it's just a question of filling these two pools up with mana which could be a pain in the butt to be honest but uh, we could probably do that with some interesting mana arrangements but before we can do any of that we need to start making mana steel uh, not mana steel hello terra steel ah, this gets expensive now for this you're going to need a ton of lapis as well and i cannot remember what this plate is called it's been given a funksome name, uh, but it must be in here somewhere. What's the easiest way of finding it, I wonder? If we go Terra Steel, yada yada yada, here we go. Oh man, I need to make a ton of runes. I'm going to do this off camera in a minute because, good gods, it's going to take forever. So one, two, three lapis box, a block of mana steel, and another four lapis. Alright, let's make the block of mana steel first, and then I'll make the runes quickly off camera because we all know how to make runes now. Which is grand. And uh, nine of these. We do it all in one. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. Quick block O mana steel. That's grand. And we've got quite a lot of that. That's great. So, what do we need to make? Oh, man, this is going to take some time. Doing this off camera is the key. Whoops. No, oh, nuts. I totally didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's get back to the terra steel. There we go. Some of you, some of that. So we need fire, air, mana, earth, and water. Oh boy, have I got any left? I think I've used quite a lot of them up. We have one air and one earth. That's grand. So we need fire and the other ones. <laughs> right. Let me make those and I shall be right back. Alrighty, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's do this last one, which I think is five of you and a mana pearl. Man, that is pricey. Yeah, there we go. Rune of Mana. So we're going to grab ourselves a few more blocks of you. I think five is what we need and four more of you. Now this should make everything we need to create the table. 
Uh, again, where we're going to put this thing is another question. Right, so you're ready to go. Just chuck you on there and give you a wallop. Fantastic. Right, the final rune is done. Now, I kind of want this... Uh, this is all... <laughs> I'm going to have to start moving stuff around pretty darn soon. Um, hmm... Where to place this? Right, well, let's make the um, the big conflagration thingy first. What is it called? I can never remember what this thing is called. Um, do, 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 do. What are you? It's just how to make a terra steel agglomeration plate. Right, so let's go search for that. Agglomeration plate, and hopefully shift click in. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Right, so we have ourselves an agglomeration <laughs> plate. Man, what a mouthful. Now, we need to place this somewhere useful ish. I wonder if we can embed it in the floor, actually. That might be quite good. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's drop it down into the floor for the time being. Keep it out of the way of most things. This will do. <laughs> Swindle music. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. We'll put you here. Relight up this area. Let's give it the old F7. See where the danger zones are. Pretty much everywhere. I think we can afford to place torches around here somewhere. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Right. Uh, give me the F7. Now, what was the pattern? I think it's this. Oh, it does look cool, though. Blink. There we go. Supoib. Supoib. Now, for this, we do need mana. And the book recommends using sparks. So I did make some a couple of episodes back, which I never showed you guys. Because I was trying to mess around with them. Um, oops. But a spark is pretty simple. It's just a bunch of blaze powder with golden nuggets and some enchanted... <laughs> enchanted, wow, some mana petals. Um, now, I believe, and I hope this is correct, if we place one spark atop you and one atop you, is that going to work? There should be sort of... If I right-click on it, it does show that there's a link. And I guess we have to do this because there's no other way of doing it. So... Um, Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Picking up after the plate celebrated, we see mana tossing a single mana steel ingot, mana diamond, and mana pearl. Dear lords, that is pricey. All right, we can do that. We can do that real quickly. We're only going to make the one for now, and I'm going to have to go hunting again before I can do what I want to do. Never mind. Let's make you into what we need you to be. Um, we should just do it off. Uh, we might as well do it here. It's fine. You, you, and you. So, is this going to work? <laughs> Is this going to work the way I hope it's going to work? If we chuck all three down... Oh, yeah, check it out. Check it out. All the powers are going. Now, it's quite expensive. Oh, it's really, really pretty as well. Look at that. Man, this mod is just so beautiful. Uh, this is going to drain, but it shouldn't drain more than half, maybe? I don't know. We shall see. But if we can get the Terra Steel here... Then we can use the one single Terra Steel Nugget to make ourselves the Elven Gateway Portal. There it is! Bing! Dancer in the Dark Achievement gets. That is phenomenal. Let's eat a potato to celebrate. Awesome. And this is all going to filter on through. Yeah, like half a mana pool's worth of power-ish. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Right, nine Terra Steel Nuggets. And we can start building ourselves the components for the portal. Man, that's freaking cool. <laughs> that's really, really cool. I just want to open this up and chuck the book through so we can get all the rest of the technologies. Now, it is expensive to trigger, but I don't think our chicken feeder system here is going to be able to maintain the power need. We shall see. Um, okay, so what do we need for this? A bunch of living wood for the core. A couple of natural pylons, fair enough. And there was the glimmering thingy. Where's that? Where's the description for that? Eight living wood blocks, three glimmering living wood blocks. That's the core. How do we make the glimmering? Let's search in here. Glimmering. Oh. We don't, there's no recipe. <laughs> there's no recipe. Let's have a look. Glim. Glimmering blocks. There we go. Oh, sweet. It's just glowstone and living wood. Excellent. Okay, good stuff. So we're going to need seven, quite a lot. Let's take all the living wood. <laughs> all the living wood we can. And we do have some glowstone around here somewhere. All the way over here. Not a problem. So the farms have been moved closer to each other, which is good. Wrong one again. There we go. Glowstone. Fantastic. Okay, so we need three... One, two, three glimmering and one core should do it. So the core... 
or something like yay. That's good. Three of you, three of you for the glimmering. Two, three, grand. Living with living with core do, 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 do so. I think the rest are just normal blocks. Let's build the gate. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, it's Gelvin, <laughs> Gelvin core goes there. Plonk you and you. You belong there. Let's see how we can do with this. We can put you like so. Slap a piece of mud up there. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, and that like so. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Hup. There's our gate. That's amazing. Right. Ah, oh, these mana pylons, man, they're going to be pricey. They are going to be pricey as heck. Um, hmm. <laughs> I've spent so long hunting Endermen and uh, Ghasts to get all of these things together. And now we're just going to have to get rid of them all. Two more mana pylons and two eyes of Ender is what we require. So the mana pylons again were... Oh my. At least it's only two of those, which is handy. Um, four more mana steel, four more gold. Very, very cool. Quickly get rid of these. <laughs> get rid of them. Bosh, bosh. One, two, three, four. Yep. Good. And if I remember from two minutes ago, <laughs> the pattern should be like so. Good stuff. And was it uh, the Eyes of Ender? Oh, this pains me. Pains me so to get rid of those Eyes of Ender. Uh, to get those Eyes of Ender. I've made now, hmm, unless you're in a little secret time, I made some more um, earlier on off camera and went hunting for a fortress. And lo and behold, I have found one, which is fantastic, which is something I definitely, definitely want to do this time round. We never, never did the end in any of the previous two series, but I believe this time it would be well worth investing in. Two natural pylons. Fantastic. Okay, this is going really, really well so far. Uh, we're going to need ten of you. Like so. <laughs> Gets twenty. Amazing for the mana pools themselves and what I'll do is we'll quickly make these put the whole structure together and then I'll see about going off and transferring mana into these two pits as it were oh that's good that is good look at this plink and plink structure complete that's amazing right we've got some <laughs> waiting around to do unfortunately I may go hunt some more endermen we shall see um, but what I want to do really, like I say, is go do the end, kill the dragon, and to that end I would like the buffed up Batania bow. I think there's one that's even better than the one that's in the book, but we can't find out about it for now. Anyhow, let me go and start transferring mana around, and I shall be right back. Okay, this shambles <laughs> of a mana collection here is taking forever, unsurprisingly. So in order to speed this up, what we're going to do is make a couple of lenses. And I'm only going to do a few. Let's boom, get some more runes of fire. That's grand. So we're going to make, uh, let's see, where's the old lexicon gone? Lexicon? Lexica. Hmm. Potency lens. Will double the amount of mana a mana burst can carry. However, the beam becomes slower and after it starts to lose mana, it does so at a lot faster rate. So what I'm hoping is this distance from these guys is not going to cause too much of a detriment. But it should mean that at least these halfway pools will get filled a little bit faster. And possibly we'll do the same with the other two. I don't know. So for mana lenses, we need a brick ton of iron again, would you believe? Um, let's see what's probably going to be. Whoops. No, all the wrong buttons. Look at that. Yay me. Um, 16. That's enough for four lenses. That would be cool. And we need some glass. Ah, knackers. Have I not? I have made some glass. Hey. How do you make glass panes? My God, it's been so long. Excellent. There we go. I've actually forgotten. Wow. Not too shabby. Um, let us grab a little bit of mana from one of these. Are you sparring? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll chuck all of you in. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. <laughs> That's awesome. And let's see. We should be able to make four basic mana lenses, like a so. Oh, they don't stack. That's handy. Four basic mana lenses. Cool. We'll chuck the glass panes in there. Now, if we combine them with the Rune of Fire, we should get the Potency Lens back in return so yes one two we'll make all four i'm sure these will come useful at a later date i haven't done any other kind of modifications i think you can graft them with colors as well to make them the mana bursts different now the question is 
if we do that, is it going to make a huge difference? It's really difficult. Uh oh. And we're back. Kind of. Yes, we are. Uh, yeah, any eye. Ooh, a little bit of frame lag. Interesting. Possibly too much mana going on around here. We shall see. Let's take off the old spectacles. Maybe that'll help touch a little bit. Okay, not too bad. Uh, yeah, any eye's been crashing quite a lot, in fact. Like, um, random bomb outs when it's trying to manipulate my junk, as it were. Let's place you back there. And that's cool. So, hopefully, that will make... See, look, what's it doing? It's getting all sorts of confused. Now, I'm wondering if the potency lens will cause issues if we place one there. This is obviously not going to be a permanent setup by a long shot, but I'm hoping that should be pushing more power around our system than before. That's always going to be empty. But these guys should be filling up noticeably faster. Yeah, mostly. They are doing slightly better. So I'm going to now leave these to do their thing and then we shall open up the gateway once these are full. Uh, and I'm going to have a look at how long it takes to drain like a completely full pool once we've done that. So yes, I think that's all good. Yeah, you can see the mana bursts do definitely look chunkier. Oof. Slower but chunkier. We shall see. Alright. Oh, actually, this is going faster than that can spread. That's interesting. Alright, yeah, that's just a one-off little thing. No problem. Right, I shall be back once we have all of our mana collected. Awesome. Don't crash any eye. Alrighty, we are done at last. Check it. Oh, man. Check it out, though. We have two full pools of power. I was arm-manning about that mud block not being turned to grass yet. Uh, so these are completely full. They have no... Uh, other sources of mana on them at the moment because uh, yeah I was going to save up I want to see how long a portal will stay open with two full mana pools just out of interest and how much it costs to actually initialize it in the first place so I'm just getting a timer ready um, oh another note that ridiculous frame lag we had was nothing to do with Britannia at all uh, unsurprisingly it was caused by the previous crash by NEI or whatever I don't know for sure um, and for some reason it had left a version of Java running in the background that was essentially maxing out my uh, CPUs. All six cores were at 100%. It's kind of ridiculous. Anywho, let's get on with this. The dream... Squeaky keyboard. The dream that I want to achieve is one, to open this up, two, to throw the book through, and then three, to look for that bow that's better than the Livingwood one. I think it's a crystal bow, and I think you make it using some sort of dragony stuff, which I don't know what we need in order to trade for. I'm assuming it might be diamonds. Oh man, we've only got two. Nuts. That could be a problem. Anyhow, let's open up the Elven Core. Achievement gets world calling. Da -da 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 -da. And it starts draining. How much did the initial hit take? Not masses. That's good. Okay, cool. Get the old timer going. Um, that doesn't seem to be going down at a rate of knots, which is phenomenal. Alrighty, let's chuck our book in and see what the Elves have to teach us. Hey! Love it. We have the Lexica, Britannia, and uh, do, 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 do. Elven Grade. Ah, that is awesome. So we have a message from the elves, which when you guys do this, you can read yourselves. There's a fair amount of spiel there. That's a good. Best regards, the High Council of Elfguard. That's awesome. Oh, we have a ton of new things. Resources from Alfheim. This is what I want to have a look at. Alfheim contains a very varied amount of exquisite resources. Sadly, though, most of these are extremely scarce and hard to come by. Uh, due to competition between various clans. That's so good. Dreamwood, Elementium. Oh, yes. Elementium. Holy moly, I've forgotten about that. Pixie Dust or Dragonstone. So show me... Show me what we need for Dragonstone. Oh, a Dreamwood Twig. Oh, I wonder what they're used for. Amazing. Probably something very, very soon. Two Mana Steel blocks for an Elemental... Wow. Or oh, two for two. Okay. Or two for one, even. Pixie Dust from Mana Pearls. A block of... Uh, oh, no, it's one for one. It's a one-to-one -one mana diamonds for dragonstone. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. We can get green quartz, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Elven quartz and elf glass as well, which actually looks really, really cool. Right, let's see. Oh, we've got the relics, ritual of Gaia 1 and 2, elven lore, all sorts of awesomeness to read up on now. I want to go to the Exicon Index, and I think... Is it Crystal Bow? It is a Crystal Bow. Crafted with Dragonstone, a Crystal Bow is a ranged weapon with the capacity to generate arrows from mana. Mm. Pretty sweet. Similar to the Livingwood Bow, it will repair mana, blah blah blah. 
and that's great. It's given the lightweight flexibility structure of the bow, it can also fire at a much increased velocity than a conventional wooden one. <gasps> we only need two. That's awesome. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so two diamonds, a living wood twig, and three mana infused string. I've got two here, quite randomly from when I killed a spider atop a mana pool. Or the mana pool, in fact, that had the... No, just a mana pool, wasn't it? Uh, not that you were here for that. <laughs> but yeah, I killed a spider on top and I got two mana string out of that. And a twig. Um, nope. Alright, so we shall make a new one. So we're going to get the new crystal bow. <gasps> That's fantastic. Very happy about that. Uh, we need to mana up all of these guys. So you, you, and you. That's great. And if we chuck both of these mana diamonds through, let's see if this has gone down a little bit. It has gone down a little. Yeah, that's a fairly, fairly large draw. Okay, I don't think our chickens are going to be able to deal with that, unfortunately. There we go, two dragon stones. Woohoo, thank you, elves. Cheers, guys. Now, let's build this puppy. Oh, look at that crystal bow. That is phenomenal. Right, old bow and arrows can get scuppered for now. So, whoop, pew. Hey, pew. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm sure it costs mana to do that, but we've got a Karen carrying two mana tablets with us at the moment, which isn't too bad. What I wanted to do was enchant it with our 31 levels as well, and what I'm hoping for is not infinity, because that would be redonkulous. I would like power on here, I don't know if unbreaking, I don't think there's any enchant specific to Britannia, I don't know. I'm just doing this at random, because honestly it's still all random in 1.7. Let's take that one. What do we have? Power 4! Yes! <laughs> Perfect. Pow! That is, wow, that arrow went miles. That is about the best I could have hoped for, to be honest. I wonder if the uh, enchanting system's been tweaked to make sure that you don't get infinity on a crystal bow. That's amazing. That is really, really cool. In fact, um, hmm, that's so cool that I kind of want to make sure that we never lose it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, there is a method, some sort of vine, I think. Is it a vine? Uh, overgrowth seed. Doo -doo 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 -doo. None of those. Hmm, there is something in here that you could attach to your um, devices, or your items, so that when you die, they remain upon your person for at least once. Oh, look at this. Holy moly, lens clips. Bifrost Highlands and Shaded Mesa. What's the Highlands one do? Uh, while maintaining the lands, it can also place dirt in midair. Uh -huh. Fair enough, the Shaded Mesa. <laughs> right, I'll tell you one last thing we need to do because I want to get this done before I forget, is we want to make a Sojourner's Sash. So let's quickly... Oh, what's the uh, Globetrotters version? Nice. That's Earth and Air. Oh, dang it, do I have either of those? No. Oh. You know what, we'll do that next time. <laughs> or I'll have it ready for next time. Essentially, it's Earth and Air, a Man of Steel ingot, and a bunch of leather will get us a Sojourner's Sash. So I'll get that ready for the next episode. And this requires a Gaia spirit, yeah. We, <laughs> not for a while, but uh, Gaia is the boss. Since it's two versions of the battle, I believe. The second one is even harder than the first. That's pretty awesome. I'm wondering if maybe for the time being, I don't have anything immediate I want to do here. Maybe we can just turn... I know it's advised against turning the portal off, to be honest, but, you know. Mm, you know, uh, we may as well. I don't know. I don't think there's anything we need right now from the elves. Uh, we certainly don't have the resources to build... Many, many more things. Equestrian virus, that's pretty cool. You can make, um, I think you can make like the undead horse. Timeless ivy, there we go. While mana steel or elementum tools have the ability to harness mana uh, and use it to protect their bodies, other tools and armor don't have this property. A handful of timeless ivy can be attached to virtually any item. Oh, right, that's that's not what I was thinking it was. Um, and it needs a guy spirit, <laughs> which we're not going to do. Vine balls, baby? Let's create a ball that can be thrown, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. I can't remember which one it is. Could be useful, though. Could be useful. I am wondering if... Hmm. I don't have... I don't really want to waste any more ender balls. We need 11 of these suckers. And we're down to 7, so I need 4 more. Hmm. Is it worth... Oh, I've got no diamonds anyhow. We need to get more diamonds big time. I was going to say, we could make a Terra Blade, which would be amazing. Um, but no, I think we're not going to bother for this. But we have the crystal bow, which is phenomenal. So, all together, very happy. We have managed to accomplish tons again today. I'm chuffed about that. I think, uh, I think we need to take on the dragon, which is going to be interesting, which is why I wanted the bow, primarily. And then we're going to look at starting to move all of this. None of this is a permanent fixture per se, I don't think. In fact, you know what, let's turn this off for the time being. 
Can I just right click on it? How do I actually... Maybe you don't turn it off. I thought you could. Hmm, bind mode, function mode, right click to shut down, nope. Maybe we'll just have to destroy one of these mana pylons and it will all close before... Let's find out, let's find out. If I take you down... Yeah, that turns it off straight away. <gasps> oh god, I did pick it up, thankfully. Whew. That's grand. Okay, so it does cost a little bit to um, open, but not masses. And really, I'd rather rather just do that for the time being. Cool. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode is done. Fantastic times all round. So, yeah, next time, I think it's the dragon. <laughs> Why not? We'll see how it goes. But until then, I shall uh, love you and leave you, and I hope you've enjoyed yourselves as always, and I will catch you then. Cheers. Cheers.